Hey everybody, Prepper Nurse One here. Today is May 24th. It is Wednesday, 2023. Uh, so first of all, I might as well show you this first, right? You see how the truck is pulled up more, which means there's no more wood to stack. <laughs> I'll show you this first. Uh, I will be live streaming tonight at uh, 8 p.m. So I thought that's three phase cord, okay, uh, between that full row there and that partial row there. So I actually told Heather what she's going to need is uh, six more face cord uh, in here. And then she will probably never touch this this year, but it'll be there for next year. So uh, I normally put a gap in between uh, the rows or, or do I'll do three rows and then yeah then a gap that's yeah that's what I would um, I don't know my brain is not working functioning properly today but anyway so all that wood got stacked um, and it's like Jenga somebody was like oh it's like Jenga but if you look at that I've got it there's no lean on that anything and that's over I mean I'm six foot tall and it's taller than me so uh, you know I'm like reaching up here so yeah, it was, like I said, I absolutely enjoy doing that. But uh, I figure she gets uh, six more face cord, she will be good to go. She could fill this in, and then that way she would have that for not this year, but next year. She'll burn this wood um, this year, uh, this winter coming up. So having that extra wood there ready to go is important because it gives it more time to season. All right, so before we get into this video... Uh, I want to let you know I will be live streaming tonight, 8 p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, you can see it was sun was out earlier, and they did call that rain was coming this afternoon. They said by 3 o'clock this afternoon we would have rain. And so uh, you can definitely feel it in the air. Uh, it is definitely going to rain. So uh, that is, it's coming. All right. So I wanted to talk about how things, so how events affect everything. Uh, like certain events will affect everything. So what, what do I mean by that? Right now, down in Mexico, you have Popo, um, that's the abbreviation for the volcano this time, they're called Popo, uh, the volcano down. Uh, it's about 50 miles away from Mexico City. It is... Uh, you know, it's a huge, huge volcano, uh, 18,000 feet, I believe, and it's getting jacked up and it's waking up, all right? And uh, so they're having, uh, right now, they're having, you know, like, uh, pumes of smoke coming up, and they're actually going up as high as four and a half miles high, folks. And so, you know, that may not seem like a lot, but that's a lot. Four and a half miles high is huge. Uh, they're afraid it's going to do uh, like Mount St. Helens did. If you remember back in like 1980, uh, those of you that were old enough to remember that, I remember it. Um, but this is what I was going to talk about with all that ash and all that stuff going up. Now it, it's it's erupting a little bit, but it's not like a full blown eruption yet. Uh, if it becomes a full blown eruption. And it, it can, uh, the, the stuff that it puts up into the air can go up as high as six miles. Now, what, what can that do? That can affect the weather. Um, if you guys remember that year that Mount St. Helens went, um, that Mount St. Helens blew, they, if, I, if I'm remembering correctly, and so don't, don't uh, say, wait a minute, that's wrong, that's not right. I believe they had snow um, in Maine. I believe in July that year. It actually affected the temperature because so much stuff uh, went up into the upper atmosphere that it, it affected the weather. So, you know, these type of things will absolutely have an effect on the weather. Let alone, let, let's talk about, uh, you know, all the pollutants that it's putting up into the air. I mean, you know, they, they always talk about, oh, we got to do this, we got to do that, we got to do the other thing. You're not stopping volcanoes. Volcanoes are going to go no matter what, and they are much more toxic. Uh, and, and the stuff that they're putting up into the upper atmosphere is uh, 
huge, huge amount of stuff uh, goes up into the upper atmosphere, uh, you know, with these type of events. And, uh, but anyway, uh, that's something that I, you know, like I said, I, I, these things will affect, you know, just not just the area, like I said, where it happens. Uh, you know, they've, they've had some, uh, there, there's a lot, there, right now that volcano is, there's uh, three different levels. You have the green level, which there's two levels of green, there's three levels of yellow, and then there's two levels of red. Right now it's at the third level of yellow. So just below uh, the level where they're going to start evacuating people. So it's definitely something that they're paying attention to. It's definitely something that could affect uh, quite a few people, millions of people actually. Uh, th like right now they're saying like 3 million people would be in the immediate uh, evacuation zone uh, with that. Scary stuff. I mean, if you live in that area, obviously that is definitely something that you would need to be concerned about. What's going on, puppies? What's going on, babies? Chickies are doing well. And we will have an egg count for you guys tonight. I'll have to go out here and check that again here shortly. I checked earlier, and I did get eggs earlier. Uh, and I'm sure there'll be more. Uh, generally, by 4 o'clock, they're done laying. And right now it's about, I think it's about 1 o'clock. But uh, yeah, you can see the wind with the trees over there definitely blowing. Uh, you can definitely feel, if you were here, you'd be able to feel it, uh, that in the air. Excuse me? Can I help you? Can I help you, ma'am? Ma'am, may I be of assistance to you of some way? She's like, yes, I, I am not up your behind, Dad, and that is a problem for me. You're a good girl, yes. Oh, she's the best. Oh, she's the best. Pandora, hell is the best. I love Hella. She gets so jealous. Oh, oh, Pandora, look at Where's Caesar? Hi, Caesar. Caesar and Hella. Look at that. She gets so mad. She gets so Caesar, come here, baby. Oh, where's a good boy, Caesar? Oh, he's a good boy. Look at her, she's biting his legs. <laughs> I'll get him going in the house, and Pandora goes absolutely bananas. And I'll be like, where's Pandora? And she's just like barking the whole time. It's actually pretty funny. I don't think Heather finds it as amusing as I do, but uh, I do enjoy that. I think it's hilarious. Anyway, guys, um, you know, events... Uh, like, you know, uh, volcanoes absolutely can affect the rest of us. Uh, a lot of volcanoes out there, they can go at any time. Uh, there's no control over that. Nobody knows when that's going to happen. So those are things that people really, you know, how do you prepare for that, you know? First of all, don't live near a volcano. Probably be a good, good advice to start with. But, uh, you know, it is definitely something, like I said again, uh, it can affect areas that's nowhere near where the volcano is, uh, weather-related. When you have these, and again, the, how many super volcanoes are out there? You know what I mean? There's a lot of super volcanoes out there, and uh, they definitely will have uh, a huge impact on the planet uh, if one of those puppies go off. Now, there's a lot of other volcanoes. We have volcanoes going off all the time, as everybody knows. So those are things, you know, that uh, are there as well. So i got to show you this little shed that Rick built uh, for the generator. Right now the door's open. I'll have to close that up, especially if it's going to rain. But he got that built in there, and he's got the little pipe attached to the exhaust so that it blows that outside. And uh, so, yeah, not, not a bad little thing there. Not a bad little thing. So, uh, they, uh, he built that. Uh, definitely, I need to do the same thing down in, uh, actually, I think this, does this fold up? It does. Look at that. See, I didn't even know. Look at that. So, you can get in there and you can pull that up. And I like that, actually. Very cool. But, uh, yeah, so. I needed to do something similar in West Virginia. 
<laughs> There's a lot of things that need to be done down in West Virginia, but uh, I, I I'm gonna I'm gonna put this out here um, on video just for everybody anybody that watches. Uh, I definitely want to take my hat off to Rick. Uh, I had asked him, you know, uh, keep an eye on, you know, Becky and and obviously and Heather, and he has definitely stepped up. And uh, he he told me he goes, man, he goes, I'll tell you what, when you ask me that, he goes, I take that very very seriously. And uh, you know, I've been watching out for stuff, and he has. And so, uh, very very appreciated. He's a good dude. Um, I'm really, really happy for uh, him and Becky. Uh, they're very happy together. And so, uh, you know, uh, really, really happy about the fact that uh, they're getting married. I think they're going to have a really good relationship. And, uh, but, uh, so yeah. So, but anyway. All right, guys, I am going to jump off of here for now. Uh, I just want everybody to remember we truly are all in this together. We are one race called the human race. As soon as we can figure that one out, we truly will be in much, much better shape. Also, you know, um, we got to stop letting them divide us. Using race, religion, political affiliation, these are all tools that are used to keep us fighting amongst each other and not dealing with the real true issues, uh, which is big business and the governments. That's who controls things. So, uh, pay attention. Uh, anyway, also remember, guys, hug and kiss the ones that you love. Tell them every single day. Tomorrow is not guaranteed. We never know what's going to happen in life. So it's really, really important that we tell the people that we care about every day how we feel. Last but not least, STD, step, thing, and day. One step at a time, one thing at a time, and one day at a time. Whatever you are trying to do, whatever you are trying to accomplish, you can do it. The only one that's going to stop you from achieving your goal is you. That's it. Nobody else. Stay positive, stay away from the negativity, and you're going to be just fine. I hope everybody's having a great day. Please be safe. Uh, and again, I'll see you all tonight at 8 o'clock for the live stream. Uh, topic to be determined. All right, have a great day. Prepper Nurse One, out for now.